Hello everybody and welcome back to the Outdoor Channel. Today we're taking a look at a new little BB gun that I picked up. It's the Crossman C11. This is uh, not one of the rifle style. This is more of a handgun style. Something to have a little fun with some pop cans in the backyard. Let's take a look. So here we have the Crossman C11 proudly built in America. Interesting looking piece of ordnance. Save five dollars on a mail-in rebate. That's actually like an email thing. Claims it puts out at 480 feet per second. Semi-automatic BB pistol. Runs on the CO2 cartridges. And I believe it said it holds 20 BBs at a time. As you can see, this isn't exactly a large BB gun. It weighs just over a pound. Fits quite comfortably in the left or the right hand. We've got our safety slide here. Find... I find it quite interesting that even with the safety on, the trigger pulls on this one, but it doesn't actually do anything. Quick slide, and there it would actually fire. I don't have a CO2 cartridge in here yet, but I am ready to go. Now, if you want to reload this thing, it's got a simple button right here. Give it a quick push, pops it out, hold it all the way, drops it out. Then the handle just slips off nice and easily. You can pinch it here and pull it backwards. The CO2 cartridge will fit right in there. Nice screw action to uh, pierce the canister. We're pretty much good to go. So around here, for some reason, you can't return pop cans for a refund. Used to be able to do that where I lived. It was a pretty good deal. Kept them out of the garbage in the ditch and stuff. But because of that, when we got this house, we acquired ourselves a Christmas tree made out of pop cans. I'm going to use some of that today to play with this. Which basically means I'm about to be the loudest, most annoying sound in the neighborhood. Great. So here we are. I've already got the BBs loaded in the bottom. Just slip the CO2 canister into it. Tighten the crank at the bottom until it pierces. You hear that gas rushing sound. Slip the handle back on. And of course, as with all projectiles, make sure it's always pointed well and truly away from, you know, anything important. Hence, the pop cans against the straw. So I'm about 15 feet away from these things, standing just behind the camera. Let's give this a try. Slide from S to F. Safety to fire. That's got some pretty good impact. I gotta say, I kinda like that Christmas tree made out of pop cans now. Got a good use for it. Oh, I missed. Driving the dog nuts. But he's well and truly away from the targeting area, so that's fine. Should have seen him with the paintball guns. Okay, now this would probably mess up a squirrel. Probably still shouldn't do it, and I don't imagine I'll be going for the ones in our yard, but I think you'd do the trick. Yeah, got some pretty decent impact. And now we take a bit of a break. Pupzilla is all excited, and he's getting all the neighborhood dogs excited now. All right, so this only comes with the one. Let me pan back here. Alright, so first thought, this only comes with the one, uh, would this be a clip or a magazine? Maybe you gun guys can let me know. I'm more of a long gun guy anyway, but anyway, that's a bit of a pain to reload out in the cold. If it came with a second one, that would be nice, but then again, this was only about uh, 50 bucks, 60 bucks or so when we picked it up, so this is a very much an entry-level BB gun, handgun. Anyway, second time through the for the sake of argument, I'm going to call it a magazine, still on the same CO2 cartridge. Here we go. Move, dog. Move, move. <laughs> Found her. Oh, 
and empty again already. Second thought on this, 20 BBs goes really, really quickly. That will undoubtedly have been in real time, including the dog running through. All right, so here we are. This is the third run through the, what I decided I was gonna call it, a magazine. I don't know. I'm hoping somebody will give me the correct information there. But anyway, third run through, so BB's 41 to 60. Same first CO2 cartridge. Geese in the background. Here we go. You're gonna have to move, big guy. Wonder if he thinks he was a hunting dog in a past life or something. You see what I gotta deal with here? Back it up. Move, dog. Move. Good dog, but. <laughs> kinda complicates these things sometimes. All in all, from the roughly 15 feet I'm at, this is pretty decent accuracy, still on the first CO2. Is that 20 shots already? Oh, dog gets so excited when I do these things. Move it, Pop. No, dude, move. And that is empty. All right, three through, still have air, not bad. So here we are setting up for shots uh, 61 through 80 with the C11 by Crosman. Still running on the, that uh, same CO2. I'm actually getting to be kind of impressed. It doesn't seem to be dropping in accuracy or anything. The only thing I've really got to deal with is the dog. So I'm going to try backing up maybe to about 20 feet. And here we go. Two dry fires, question mark. Try this again. Bit of a malfunction with the BBs there. Here we go from about 20 feet. Not bad, so we're looking at setting up shots 81 to 100, one cartridge of CO2. I'm definitely impressed, the dog's going nuts. So I finally figured out the trick with this and what I did wrong last time. It's actually supposed to pull this back all the way, and while I had been loading them by shoving them in the top here, there's a little indent here, you can pull it all the way back with the spring, just drop them in there, loads a little easier. I'd still like to see maybe a second one sold with the actual BB gun itself. Maybe packs of two for sale beside it would be a good add-on marketing idea. Just saying guys at Crosman, just saying. All right, well, for this next run through, as much fun as the pop cans are, I looked over at the compost, found a nasty old banana and a highly questionable cucumber. So let's play with those, see if we can get some sort of splatter effect for a decent thumbnail. All right, so back to about 15 feet, safety off. Banana and cucumber. Uh, I got a bit of a drop off now. That sucker bounced back from the back of the shed and had some pretty good force and that is why they tell you to wear safety glasses people. Oh, 
Not getting much of a splatter from these. Looks like it's just going through or missing entirely. Poor puppy. Alright, well, next thought. This is not much fun with soft fruits and vegetables. It just pierces right through them. It's actually got some pretty decent puncture going to it. Hmm. So, unbelievably, I think we're on shots 100 through 120. That's just, that's pretty efficient with its CO2, I think. And still not really a lot of drop off at this distance. Not bad, Crosman. Not bad for like such a cheap BB gun. Something you want to say to the crowd? Aww. And only now, this late in the cartridge, 120 to 140, do the squirrels come out to find out what I'm doing. All right. Very impressed with how this is doing so far. What did I say? 120 to 140? And, then, and after that, I think it's probably time to be done with this for the day. See how much gas is still left in that little cartridge. Here we go. Move, dog. That is pretty decent grouping for this many shots into a cartridge. Poor puppy. So if, like myself, you're done with this at the end of the day, you don't want to leave it with an unspent cartridge in there, just very slowly turn that back. You want to be nice and careful with these CO2 cartridges. That's incredibly cold in there. But that sucker still had a lot of air in it. Good grief. Nice little warning written on the side here. Warning, not a toy. Misuse or careless use may cause fatal injury. All right? Yeah, there was still a whole lot of air left in this canister. I'm really, really impressed with the efficiency of this. We got, uh, you know, I could have gone on to 150, probably 200 shots out of this one cartridge. Not bad, Crosman. Not bad. So. Unscrew that all the way. And it should drop right out. It's incredibly cold, though. Alright. Gotta twist the base back up before you can get the handle to slide over it again. And then that just slides on like so. What do I think at the end of it all? For a $50 BB handgun, this thing is is fun. You can get a decent uh, decent bit of shooting out of it, and uh, yeah, not bad. I am impressed. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for stopping by on this bright, sunny morning as I take a look at the Crosman C11 BB pistol. You know, 50, 60 bucks. Well spent if you want to have a, a quick little shooter for the backyard. All right, everybody. Have yourself a fantastic day. Shoot straight and play safe.